everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Kat and for today we have so many more glam shop things I've got foundation concealer lip gloss highlighter if you like yellow a yellow palette we've got a whole turbo palette plus we have turbos and marbles we're gonna look at all of it I am so excited oh my gosh I can't even tell you guys as soon as this came in the mail I was like ah, filming immediately to show you guys oh so I'm so excited I hope you guys are excited too I mean based on the number of people that checked out my last glam shop video I think you're probably just as excited as I am so as a side note I wanted to say thank you so so much to those of you that tried to help me with my pronunciation put little tips and tricks on how to say different things in the comments in the last video I really really appreciate it but today I'm not gonna let it slide anymore that my pronunciation was such trash so I have my Google Translate here to tell me how to say the words and I'm gonna do my best based on that to pronounce these as close to the correct thing as I possibly can hopefully it will somehow come across well you guys let me know down in the comments how close I get this time but that's gonna be like a little challenge for me on top of everything else <laughs> but we are gonna jump right in and so I think what we're gonna do we're gonna start off by just swatching everything because of course we are and then we will get into the foundation the concealer and the lip gloss at the end along with the highlight palette cuz ah. based on how they look in real life <laughs> the shifts are gonna be insane so <laughs> I am very much excited for that so let's go ahead and start with this guy first which is the Citronada palette so the citrusy palette and it's got all of your beautiful yellow tones on there I do like that they are very very like pigmented yellow it's not like pastel yellow by any means like these are yellow yellow shades I like that they have some of the deeper mustardy tones in here as well <sighs> We're gonna, we're gonna jump right in. <laughs> so the first shade up is Yuzu, which is, oh my God. <laughs> I was about to be like, it's probably just gonna be a topper shade. Wrong again! Glam Shop doesn't do topper shades. They just do full pigment on everything. <laughs> so this is gorgeous. This is like a, I mean, you're seeing gold for sure, like a champagne gold in the camera. I'm seeing a green to blue shift as I look at it. Like, holy cow, this is stunning. There you go, you can see a little bit of the greenish to blue as I shift it on there and then it goes to the gold. Oh. Next up we have Citrina, which means lemon. Mm, that is, that is beautiful. Oh my god, it's got like a yellow to orange shift on there. So you can, I mean, just super strong yellow pigment. And then at the very back end, it's got a little bit of an orangey undertone to it. Next up, we have Vichichnente, which is a really nice mustardy kind of metallic-y shade. Very pretty. Has a little bit of a copperish undertone as I'm looking at it. Super duper pretty on there. Very nice and pigmented. And uh, that translates to squeezed, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> then we have bergamot, which is a matte shade. Um, slightly deeper than this guy. I would say it's like an orangish brown, but more on the orange side. Then we have limetta, which is lime. And that is also a nice yellow matte shade. I think that's probably as true yellow as you're gonna get on here. That is, I can't believe how pigmented these yellows are, even as swatches. Like I have a couple other yellow palettes and they don't swatch like this. I'm just saying, <laughs> this is super nice. Then we have Lemoniada, which is lemonade. Mm. Oh my God. This Sparkle! Look at the sparkle on that one. Like, I already thought this guy was cool. This guy, oh, that is a gorgeous metallic shade. I still can't get over this shade. Like, this guy is like, it's like blowing my mind how nice it is. <laughs> Next up, we have Gorska Pomerantia. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be super light and then it ends up like as you turn it, you can see the deeper undertones to it. So this guy I would say is comparable to a satiny 
type metallic where it's it's a light brown with some gold bespecklements in it and uh in case you were wondering that translated to bitter orange but you can see a little bit of the shift on there as well as those gold speckles that are mixed in in the pan i'm not gonna lie it looks like it would be super deep but you can kind of see how it shifts to that lighter shade on there very interesting then we have citron which I'm guessing is like citrus. <laughs> and that is also more of a satin, I would say, not a super strong metallic. You can see just a really nice kind of mustardy yellow. Very, very pretty. Then we have pomelo, which honestly, the picture looks like a grapefruit. <laughs> and that is also a bit more of a satiny shade, has kind of an orangey undertone, so definitely not quite as dark as this guy, but still has similar gold flecks in it. So you can see those gold flecks in those last three shades. This guy is a stunner, I'm telling you. And then this guy just mm, can't handle how nice it is. But that is the entirety of this palette right here. And... I mean, if that's not a beautiful lemony palette, I don't know what is. We are going to continue with the swatches, and so I think what we're going to do next is we will swatch the highlights real quick just to see how they look, and then we will get into the turbo palette and the rest of the additional turbo shades and the marbles that I picked up. All right, so this is the Svetlovka palette, which translates to fluorescent lamp according to Google Translate, but I'm guessing they just mean highlighter. <laughs> and these are the shades on the inside. In the palette, you can't see it quite yet how amazing these are, but I can tell you that like looking at them, they look a lot like the turbo metallics that we have for eyeshadows. The shifts that I'm already seeing are just stunning. So we're gonna swatch them up. All right, so the first one up is gonna be Disco LED. And that guy has a pink sh just like, like butter. Oh my God, how easy that's swatched. Holy cow. So uh, I'm seeing kind of purple to yellow a little bit in the camera, but then as I'm looking at it, I'm getting gold to pink to orange. So you can see some of the many shifts that are going on. You stop it, Glam Shop. I, <laughs> I don't even, like, I don't know how to handle quality like this. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is just absolutely nuts to me. I, I can't tell you guys how much I enjoy swatching anything from Glam Shop because <laughs> the quality is just absolutely bonkers. It is so good. All right, next up we've got Halogen, which in the pan comes across a bit more chunky than the last one. Okay, uh, let me press it down because it is a bit more chunky. So you do need to kind of press it a little bit more. Kind of a bit like how you would handle a flaky glitter. But there she blows. Lots of purple to blue with a little bit of a pink shift in there. And like you can see some green now on that. I can't handle it. Next up, we've got Zarova, which... I was about to be like, as I was swatching it, I was like, it feels like it's gonna be a lighter topper shade again. Just like this one, it got me again. So this one uh, definitely has a bit more um, of a goldish undertone to it, along with some lighter pale blue shift, I believe. Next up, we've got Hyazhenyovka. <laughs> So as I look at it, it's got blue, purple, pink in there. There's some of the bluish on there. Oh, man. I would totes use these as eyeshadows too because they are so nice. Oh my God, I can't even. And this last one translated to fluorescent in case you guys were curious. All right, next up we've got stroboscope, which means strobe. And that is not at all what I was expecting. I was definitely, based on like how it was looking in the pan, I thought it was gonna be like real chunky and super deep gold, and it is not. It is super duper lightweight gold, almost champagne-y in nature, like that, it's like blending into my skin. <laughs> so I would say so far out of the six, we've got one more left. This guy looks to be your most natural highlighter out of the bunch. So if you're not wanting to have something that is multi-chrome in nature, this one is the one to go with so far. We do have one more left though. 
Next up is the last one. We've got Lazaroffi, which is laser. I would agree. And that is a very nice yellow highlight. Definitely a bit more pigmented than this guy was and also has what looks to be a little bit of maybe either like a greenish or a bluish shift to it a bit. So yeah, still I, I would say this guy is going to be your most natural one. Next I would say this guy and then perhaps this one or this one. Um, but these two right here are going to be your most pigmented out of all of the highlighters, I think. Let me know, BT Dubs, how I'm doing so far on the pronunciations. I'm uh, not going to lie, there are certain ones where when I type them in or when I just see the name, I'm like, <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> We're going to get into the Turbina palette next. This is what the Turbina palette looks like. 100% your Turbo Metallics. I am... I'm ready to go. <laughs> this is gonna be so great. All right, uh, we have run out of room on this arm, so we're gonna move on to this one, and then we're definitely at some point gonna have to switch over to the front. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some arm gymnastics to show you guys these up close. <laughs> First up is going to be Cyclone, which is Cyclone. Hmm, that is not at all what I was expecting yet again. <laughs> That looks like bluish to greenish yellow, and then as I look at it, I am for sure seeing like nothing but a magenta y pink. There you go. So you've got a little bit of the pinkish purple, more of the purple to then the bluish. I mean, I can't handle these shifts, guys. <laughs> this is just. Next one is Chaos, which sounds about right. Oh my gosh, okay. The thing about some of the turbo shadows is they feel like water when you are putting them on. The texture is literally like, I feel like I am just putting water, like a liquid on my hand because it is so, so smooth. And so that's one of the things to kind of keep in mind with the formulas for these. It's just, it's so nice. <laughs> All right, so for this guy, definitely I would say a bit more pigmented than this one with how it's showing up. And it is, as I am looking at it, like a silver to bluish green. And I think the camera is picking up a lot of the yellowish. I think you guys can see a little, there you go, a little bit of the bluish green. You're definitely seeing the purple on this one. And then there's more of the goldish with the green. I mean, just lots of shifts. Next up, we've got Turbina, which probably is gonna be deeper toned. Yep, definitely a deeper toned. And this is a magenta-y to kind of cranberry red, but definitely seeing like a brownish undertone for sure. Like that's for sure like a grayish brownish orange. And then, ah, there's your red. See what I mean? Like, okay, here you can see the shade is split. So you've got the brownish on this side and you've got the red on there. So that really lets you see. Oh, I love it when the camera's actually able to pick it up. There you go with your shift. <laughs> All right. Next up is gonna be Bajask, which means dawn. I knew it was gonna be my favorite. We know how much I love a good mermaidy greenish blue shade. As soon as I saw it in the pan, I was like, well, that's gonna be my favorite. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Almost has a bit of a grayish purple undertone as I'm looking at it. And there you go. You can see the green blue and then ever so slight. There's a bit of that purple undertone depending on how the light hits it. That is gorgeous. Favorite shade in the palette so far, but you guys let me know what you think. <laughs> Next up is gonna be Una which means glow. What? I thought it was gonna be purple. So blue to definitely a purple shift with, oh, some kind of hot pink at the end, but I'm definitely seeing like a almost periwinkle blue in the camera. And then as I get close, there's more of the purple. All right, that's the first half of this palette and I'm already like, ah. <laughs> Next up, we have Rabanik, which rabbits, I believe, is what Google Translate is saying. Ooh, okay, that is a magenta-y kind of pinkish purple shade. A little bit of some gold reflect on there as well. I don't think it's quite as shifty as some of the other shades. I think it's more of just a true kind of pinkish 
shade, but a very beautiful metallic nonetheless. Next up is Reverse, which is reverse. <laughs> oh man. Oh my gosh. Holy. <laughs> this is like a Cleonda multi-chrome. I am seeing like a coppery to gold and then in the camera a purple to almost a kind of greenish. That is a true, true multi-chrome. Very opaque, super duper pigmented. You can kind of see as I'm moving my arm, you've got the pinkish purple on this side. You can see some of that greenish to copper on the end. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, all right. <laughs> I knew today was gonna be a good day. <laughs> Up next is Titan, uh, which is titanium, and it looks like this might also be a multi-chrome type show. <sighs> yep. Okay, I see just orangey copper, and red to yellow is what I'm getting in the camera. So as I get in close, you can definitely see the shift from the red to the orangish gold. That is absolutely stunning. Next up is Shao, which is shawl. Okay, seeing more so yellow to orange shift on there. And then as I look at it, I am getting green with a little bit of a brown undertone. So unfortunately the camera does not want to pick up the deeper greenish shift that I am seeing, but Still a very, very beautiful shade for sure. And then the last shade is Turbot. And let's see what this guy does. Ooh, that is a lovely pink shade. Yeah, kind of like a corally pink with a little bit of an orange undertone. Very pretty. That is super duper nice. So this is the entirety of the Turbo palette. And this is the number 12 palette. Now we move on to this guy. These are the remaining turbo shades that we can swatch as well as the additional marbles that I got. And if you guys wanna see the other turbos and marbles that I had gotten previously, I will make sure that I link down below my last video in case you guys haven't seen it yet shows a comparison between the Glam Shop shadows that I had gotten, as well as the Bernovich shadows, just to kind of see what's similar, what's not. But we will do the turbos first, and then we will get into the marbles. And then we are all done and ready to try out the foundation concealer and the lip gloss, and then do a look. <laughs> first shade up is going to be Schlagier. And that is like a really kind of cool, grungy, grayish green with a little bit of a gold undertone to it. Very beautiful, oh my goodness. There you can see a little bit of the goldish, but that is, if you like grungy greenish gold shades, Schlagier is the way to go. And in case you're curious, it means stunner, accurate. Next up we have Gymno Chiepwe, uh, which I guess translates to cold warm. So I'm guessing that this is gonna have like a warm tone to cool tone shift. Okay, yeah, I can see where I would say that. So you've got reddish undertones, but it has like a purplish kind of shift to it. It is definitely very transparent. So this would be an actual topper shade. You can see some of the yellowish undertones, but it shifts with like, I can see right there like an icy blue, but then I also still see the red undertones as well. Next up we have Tjol, which is tulle. And that is a very beautiful kind of pastel-y, I'm getting like a lizard green type shade with some pink undertones. The camera wants to pick up purple <laughs> with like a turquoisey blue undertone. <laughs> That's gorgeous. That is a really pretty shade. Very springtime vibes on that one for sure. That is a super cute shade. If you were wanting to put together a nice spring palette. The tulle shade is the way to go. Next we have Zorja, which is Dawn. And that is like a nice lilac purple with some blue undertones. You can see just how nice and subtle of a purple that is. Very pretty, bit of a goldish shift in there as well, along with the lilac. Just a nice, I mean really all three of these shades right here, would make for a very nice springtime palette. Next up is Origami. 
and that is a deeper purplish blue shift oh wow yeah that is definitely a deeper shade <laughs> what's funny is like as i was looking at it i'm like oh it's just the darker version of this other shade nope it's its own thing that is like a deeper kind of bluish green with brown undertones like a grayish brown undertone that is definitely a standalone shade all on its own next up is gasolina which honestly in the pan i'm not gonna say it looks like the other shade because that would be lying <laughs> That is, all right. So that's like purplish pink with for sure like a black undertone for that multi-chrome. You can definitely see the deeper shades on there with the purple and the bluish pink shifts. So I would say that's the deepest of all of the shades so far that I've taken a look at. Uh, next up is gonna be Figuvietz Ficus, which is Fig Ficus. Um, Interesting. Oh. oh my gosh. Man. Oh my god. Oh. So purple blue with a cr like all I was seeing was like the deepest cranberry shade. You can definitely see the red undertones on there as I'm moving it. That's I think the most red. And then purple to holy cow. Oh my gosh. That is nuts. That shade is um. <laughs> oh my god. That is so pretty. Holy cow. Oh. <laughs> All right, the last of the turbo shades is going to be zigzag. Oh, interesting. That is closer to this guy than I was expecting. Oh. I gotta stop saying that until I look at the camera. <laughs> that is nothing like it. So this guy I'm getting green. You can definitely see though that both of them have that same red undertone. But this one I'm seeing in the camera, the green, there's a little bit at the top of that reddish orange shift. Um, but as I was looking at it, this one looked like a slightly more yellow, yellowish gold version of the red than this one. <laughs> so very different uh, in the camera, but to me, they were looking like two different shades of cranberry red. So that's super interesting. All right, then we have five new marble shades and that is it. And then we can, uh, we can get started. <laughs> As if we haven't already gotten started, what am I even saying? <laughs> All right, so this way you can kind of see how they really do look like marbles in the palettes and very, very pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch all five of them. All right, first up is Narcissus, which would be the Narcissus flower. And as I am looking at it, a very nice lilac-y with gold undertones. Actually, kind of similar to this guy is what this one looks like. Very similar. So you can see that nice, lilac-y purple with a bit of a peachy gold shift to it. I think I'm gonna swatch the rest on this arm so I don't have to do gymnastics to try and get it to work. <laughs> All right, next up is gonna be tarot. Okay. That is a really cool blue to purple with a gold topper. You can definitely see some of that purple to kind of a navy blue shift. And then as I pull away further, you can see that it kind of becomes a bit more of a periwinkle pastel shade a bit, but very, very pretty. Next up is Fata Morgana, which means mirage. Oh my goodness. Also favorite shade. <laughs> Another mermaidy greeny blue shift with some gold in there. Oh God, that's gorgeous. Holy cow. Look at that, that is just all of, that's like the deeper version of this guy. Like this is your more on the medium tone. This is the deeper version of that. <laughs> you, oh my gosh, those two already combined with this guy as a top. Oh, we might do that as one of the eyes. Oh. Next up is Moda na Success, which is fashion for success. And ooh, that is also a very nice red, with gold and some bluish silver shifts. Oh, you can see it from back there. Yes, very nice red shade. I am wondering, it is not at all like these two. <laughs> so this would again be that lighter version, and then this is the deeper version. So clearly these two 
are comparable to those two guys, but just the darker, more smoky versions. Next up is gonna be Machloika, which means swindle. Oh, that's such a pretty, oh my goodness. So it's like a purpley pink with some gold on top, but there's just something about that one that is just, it's just giving me like, for like princessy vibes for whatever reason. I don't know why, but I really, really like that one. That shift is lovely. That's super pretty. All right, that is literally everything for the eyeshadows. We've got all of the swatches and the rainbow shades going on. So now we are going to get into testing out the foundation and the concealer. We also have the lip product and we are going to do an eye look. We're gonna definitely put on the highlight. My only hope is that I don't get literally glitter like all over my face as I'm trying to put the foundation on. So I'm gonna use a sponge and in case you were curious, this is the classic glam glam shop looks like this on the packaging super cute with some stars and my shade that i grabbed they did not have a ton of shades when i was looking but what was cool was that they could like they did have the option for you to get it in like little tester packets too um if you didn't want to get the whole bottle to try out so mine is in the shade chepwe one which is warm one all right got some pump action on here Ooh, okay she's liquidy <laughs> Definitely noticing it is more sheer as I apply it. So probably not gonna be able to get rid of Edward on my neck. Uh, we'll see how the concealer does with covering that guy up. Because as soon as Dave was starting to go away, it was like, oh, we need a new one. So let's have Edward show up. It did initially look like it was gonna be super duper light, but as I was blending it out, it made it to where it's not quite so uh, distinctly light in comparison to my face. It definitely does have a bit of a scent to it, but it's not unpleasant. But I think that this is blending out fairly well. I definitely don't think it's like a perfect match for my skin tone. I think it's a smidge light and also has a bit too much of a yellowy undertone for me. But as we throw on like bronzer and other blush and things like that that should help to kind of even it out a little bit so it won't be quite as much of a stark contrast. And we can also definitely test out the concealer here next, see how that guy does. Um, I do like how the text is holographic on here. So it is kind of cute packaging on there with the Glam Shop label. Pretty much like anything that's holographic these days. <laughs> All right, we are going to do a smidge around the eyes. Cover up Dave last little bit cover up Edward all right see how this guy blends out I do think that the formulas for both the foundation and the concealer are fairly lightweight like I'm not feeling like I'm super duper cakey on anything as I'm applying it. I do think that the concealer is also a bit of a lighter concealer as far as coverage goes. I don't think that it's a full coverage by any means, just like I don't think that the foundation is a full coverage. I would say both of them are between light to medium. I am going to do my brows real quick, bronzer and blush, and then we will come back to check out the highlighters, and then we're gonna do a look. All right, now that I somewhat have my face on, <laughs> Even though my brows are still absolutely crazy. <laughs> we can go ahead and I'm gonna throw on the lip real quick so we can see what that looks like. Uh, so this lip gloss that I got is in the shade Leco Rojani, which means slightly rose, which I would say is accurate. So in the packaging, it looks kind of like a burnt rose shade with some slightly deeper red undertones to it. So I think that's gonna be kind of interesting to see just how deep or not deep of a shade this ends up being on my mouth. <laughs> it is definitely a bit more of a drier consistency. So I would say not as much that it feels like a gloss, more like not quite a liquid lip either because it doesn't seem like it's drying down. I, I think it's more of like a satiny type gloss. Is 
a very pretty shade. Definitely not quite what I was expecting. I thought that it was gonna be significantly darker than this and this just ended up being legitimately like a nice burnt rose type shade. So this is very, very pretty. For the highlight, I think we're gonna use the Disco LED shade, which is this first one on here that is a bit more multi chromey I am gonna try it with a brush first just to see how she goes and then go in with my face if I, or with my finger if I need to. And yes, I am using the world's biggest <laughs> brush for applying high. Hmm, hmm. No regrets, guys. <laughs> I did what I did and I meant it. Don't be shy with your highlight, guys. Let your whole face glow. I am completely fine with this. <laughs> and as I'm like looking straight on, you can't even see it, but then when I turn my face, it's like <laughs> All right, I brought you guys in a little closer for this eye look, because I want you front and center as I throw these shades on. So we are going to be using more of a packing brush for the lid, because I want to make sure that I'm not just sending glitter everywhere. <laughs> All right, so for the inner half, we're going into Brzezask, which is Dawn. And that is in the turbo palette of this guy right there. Oh, she's so pigmented. Oh my God, I love it. All right. This is with a dry brush too, guys. Just FYI. And because I want all of the pigment, we are taking that high up on the eye. And I am pulling it a little bit further than the halfway mark just for right now, because then we're gonna blend it in with that deeper shade so that we kind of have almost three different shades going on. This is super duper pigmented. And might I add, for the amount of glitter that I have just applied to my face, there's like almost zero fallout. So then for the outer half, we're gonna go into the marble shade Fata Morgana. that is blending together absolutely lovely. And also again, no fallout and it's such a chunky shade. Oh my gosh. I mean, this is just absolutely stunning. I just already, I feel beautiful. This is super duper nice. All right, so we're gonna be going into the citrusy palette for the under eye with Citrina, which is this guy right here. And then for the inner corner, we're gonna go into this guy right here, which is Yuzu. Are you kidding me with how pigmented this already is? I think we are gonna go into the lemonade shade though, because I wanna kind of spice this up a bit. So that's gonna be this guy right here that is more of a shimmery tone. We are gonna add that guy on there too and see what happens. <laughs> no regrets. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, I'm not mad. <laughs> Tell me this isn't absolute bananas, how much this yellow is showing up. The yellow just took over the look, is all I'm saying. <laughs> We're gonna go into Yuzu for the inner corner, see how she goes. Shut the F up. Oh my god. <laughs> you cut it out. You cut it out right now. Oh my god. I can never use anything else ever again. <laughs> I can only use Glam Shop from now on. This is stupid how good this is. Oh my God. How is this shade this pigmented? I am gonna tight line real quick and throw on mascara and then we're gonna be back to see the final look and if this is not just all of the glowy, glittery, metallic-y looks, then I don't know what is. <laughs> I can't handle this. This is, oh my God. Like, I feel like my eyes are on a different level of glow right now. <laughs> I literally, my eyes have never popped so much before in my life. 
All right, we are back with the final look, so I'm gonna come in close here real quick so you guys can see all of the magic for yourselves. I can't believe how much that yellow showed up. I can't believe how much the pop in the inner corner showed up. And the the shimmery turbos on my lid, like I am blown away by this entire thing. It looks absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I have no words. Like yet again, Glam Shop just completely knocks it out of the park. I don't know, man. Like you guys let me know what you thought down in the comments down below because I would love to know. Let me know how I did on the pronunciation of the different shade names and everything. I was like, I'm not gonna look like an a-hole in a second video. I will get the pronunciation right. <laughs> so please let me know down in the comments how I did and give me a thumbs up if you guys like this video. If you want to see more, I have a lot more. <laughs> if you made it to the end of the video and you have not yet subscribed, I would sure love it if you would subscribe. This is the kind of craziness that you can expect on my channel. Tons and tons of color, tons of indie brands, brands from all over the world. I love testing out everything. If there are any other brands that you guys would like for me to check out, please by all means let me know. And other than that, you guys just go have a good one.